This video is going to show you what happens when you connect your Gen 3 wall charger to your Tesla app. So I just found out this today. And to do this, you want to go into your Tesla app. And this is what it looks like. So I have my Tesla app open. And you'll notice that this actually is a different view than before. The house is kind of zoomed out and your vehicle will actually show up in a garage with your wall connector. So this only works with the Gen 3 wall connector. And when it's charging, see how it says I'm generating 1.1 kilowatts for solar. Whatever your car is pulling, it will also reflect that on the app. So if I were to go to my car and then start the charging... and then I go back to the house view, this is gonna be able to give you and show that power flow. As you can see, the kilowatts are starting, it's at zero, and then this should just go up drastically and you'll see kind of where the power flow is with the house. So this is a tip that's something that I think you will enjoy. And I'm gonna turn this off since it is peak time as to show the example. But the way to add this is actually pretty simple. It will take you about uh, five minutes. And in the top right, you can click on your profile, and go to add products and says add or remove products. And when you click on that, you'll see vehicle, power wall, solar inverter, and you go down to wall connector. And when you're here and you click get started, it's going to ask you to scan the QR code. So if you still hopefully have your quick start manual, you'll be able to enter in the network ID and password that this is gonna ask you to connect to. And then you just follow the on-screen instructions. I threw mine away, uh, I actually misplaced it. I might have it somewhere. So what I did was essentially connect to the wall connector Wi-Fi. So if you actually hold down the wall connector, um, the button, the plug button for a few seconds, it's actually gonna broadcast your Wi-Fi signal. You can connect to that. And on Android, you can just basically share your Wi-Fi. And the QR code is not the QR code that is on the side of the Tesla wall connector. That's not what it's asking for. It's actually asking for a QR code that has the Wi-Fi credentials that you can add since uh, that's something that's hidden in the uh, quick start guide. So what you want to do is scan the QR code. Uh, I connect to the Wi-Fi and then I share using the QR code sharing on Android. iOS has this as well. And I sent that to myself uh, a photo and threw it up on my computer and used my phone to scan that. The Wi-Fi credentials work. And then it's a few minutes set up just follow the on-screen instructions, and then you will have this access into the app itself. And then something to keep in mind is that it does take a few minutes. So after you set this up, you will see this option, and but you won't see any vehicle in the garage to start. It took about 15, 20 minutes for the car to show up in the app. There will need to be a firmware update that's applied during the registration and setup process for the wall connector. But this is what it looks like. This is actually the first, uh, second time I'm seeing this since I installed it about 30 minutes ago. And then it'll show up in the app. So hopefully this is helpful if you didn't know this. And if you have any questions, throw them in the comments and talk to you in the next one. Take care.